my friends to marry Ella. Cheer up, my friends. Cheer up, my friends. We'll make you smile. Hit like and subscribe. Hit like and subscribe. Please do this now. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun while we talk and share. Enjoy our show. Enjoy our show. We'll have a great time. Representing all the Indians, the Native Americans. Oh, right and here. later on, I'll be representing the pilgrims. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. And so the pilgrims invited the Indians, the Native Americans, and it was actually a three-day of e festival of eating, hunting, and entertainment, entertainment in honor of the pilgrims' first successful harvest. Cheers to that, Mary. But can you imagine eating for three days how much weight we'd gain, Ella? Well, well I'm sure they didn't have any weight problems. Like, <laughs> we stop <laughs> laughing. I guess so. It's it's happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, is. everyone. We have a lot to be thankful. Oh, yes. You know, mm -hmm. we sure do. Mm -hmm. And so it was a three-day festival of eating, hunting, and entertainment in honor of the pilgrims' first successful harvest. It wasn't celebrated for years. Ah, oh, yeah, that I didn't know. I thought it was just celebrated from day one, but I guess not. So it wasn't celebrated for years. But in 1789, George Washington, and we all know, well, Our who George Washington you know, yeah, was. Wonderful mm -hmm. president, yeah. Uh, so, but in 1789, George Washington what announced announced it to be the first national Thanksgiving holiday. Oh, wow. All right. But it didn't become a tradition until the 19th century until writer Sarah Joseph Bahio, God bless her soul, started a campaign, but 1863 Abraham Lincoln announced that the nation would celebrate this holiday. Then, it's been going on, it's a tradition, every single year since Abraham Lincoln's days. 
I love Thanksgiving, one of my favorite holidays, mm. and I love the food. And talking about food, what is your favorite food? Well, Mary, when it comes to Thanksgiving, it's the stuffing, turkey stuffing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the kind of stuffing that I like, just not any kind of stuffing. I like the stuffing that has ground pork in it. Yep. And it has apples and, and poultry seasoning, and all the different kinds of seasoning oh. that uh, my husband makes it. So, uh, what's your favorite food, Mary? Well, I love the stuffing too. Oh, yes. But I have to say, I have a sweet tooth. And I love the pies. But what we had growing uh -huh. up, it was actually a tradition in my house growing up. Um, up in the Northeast here, we had a uh, ice cream place called Friendly's. Mm -hmm. And they used to have like these, um, like these logs. It's like an ice cream log. And it's called Jubilee Roll. And it's actually mm -hmm. for the... Uh, for the Christmas holidays, it's got the Christmas colors. It's very festive looking, mm -hmm. and it's more you know, it tastes more pepper. It's like a peppermint candy. I like the peppermint candies are in it, but it's a peppermint tasting type of ice cream. Mm -hmm. And you also got your like your vanilla, a little bit of chocolate or whatever, and mm -hmm. it's just so good. And I just love it. And so yeah, the Jubilee Roll is my favorite. <laughs> my oh, favorite dessert. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that Jubilee yeah. Roll. And uh, Carvel ice cream cake. That's real. Oh, yummy, yummy, yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, I love those yes, too. Those really but good. for Thanksgiving, uh, about your well, that this is what you get. Uh, but uh, we get all the pies, the pumpkin pie, oh, the yeah. apple pie, yeah. and uh, I love pecan pie. It's so sweet, I know, because of the sweet tooth. But then I just uh, beep up on water, cold water, and uh, so it's not as sweet. Yeah. So you see, Happy Thanksgiving. I have the apron all set. There we go. Happy yes. Thanksgiving. And now this brings <laughs> us to our next segment. Oh, yeah. See you in a little bit. Welcome to the Arts and Crafts portion. Ellen, what are we doing today? Well... We are getting all geared up for Thanksgiving, and we're going to be doing, we're going to be making, actually, nice placemats, Thanksgiving placemats, right there. Mary will show you the pic. And Mary already tried it out. It came out like this, this face. That's uh, the this, finished yeah, place, product. Oh, yeah, finished product, yes. This placemat, and... Um, where did you go, Mary, to get this? I actually tubing? just went to the dollar store. And it's just, you know, for a dollar, you get a package of this tubing. Yeah, it's like very, very soft yeah, rope. It's very what? soft rope. Yeah, and like mesh tubing. That's and of course, you use your lovely glue gun here. Mm -hmm. And um, let's get let's, let's get going. Let's okay, go. sounds good. I'm looking forward to working it on these. It should be fun. Mm-hmm. So here we have our glue gun, and now you just all you have to just do is you basically put your glue on. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it for you, Barry. Watch out, top. Watch out for your hand. Oh. Okay. So why don't you start rolling that little piece okay. there, Ella? So I'm gonna start right. The beginning is the trickiest Ooh, part. This glue is hot. Now we just have to just go around here again. Yeah. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. That's a very hot. Okay, very hot glue. And then you go again again. Oh, yeah, that's really sticky. <laughs> it's sticking. It's oh, good. it's sticky, yeah. And what you just keep, just keep doing is you just... And the glue will just peel off the fingers, so... Yeah, you just yeah. To, oh, yeah. You just have to just keep... Keep on squirting it out. Squirting, squirting it out. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Oh, roll yeah. It. Now it's then, easier. See, now, now since we got this going, it's you know, very then, easy. So I'll just put the glue and you just keep and wind it. And, and I'll just, keep yeah, keep on, oh, okay, keep, keep on, on growing. Growing it. Ooh, okay, now, this is and nice now, now. And now, like, yeah, and you keep on squirting the glue out. Keep squirting that glue. See? Okay. Okay, Whoa. and then I'll yeah. do some more. Hang on. The two people always get so much, twice as much work. Oh, right? that's for sure. Twice as much work, so you can have your children helping you, so, yep. or your grandchildren. Oh, yes, but just be mm -hmm. very careful with that glue. Oh, yeah, make sure they don't touch it. Yeah, okay. well, they're older. This is not really, uh, not for the small older children. Yeah, older, yeah, older, like, yeah. you know, eight and over. Yeah. Not a three-year-old or four-year-old. No, 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 a little no, no, too no. small to do this a little too small. parts and crafts. And then I'll just go over oh, here. Oh, look again. at that nice circle now. Circular. It's going to be yeah, a really a nice decoration here. Oh, yeah. So let's keep going. Okay, let me find it. Okay. 
Yeah, so this simple. One is, uh, yeah, oh, it is. Let me just put it. I'll make sure that it goes on the glue. Okay. Oh, no, you didn't do, put the glue on here. There yeah, you go. okay, yeah, and Mary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm falling behind schedule. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're doing the hard work. I'm just winding it, Mary. <laughs> you're doing all the hard work over here. Okay. Oh, Mary's got it now. It's all around. See, now I She's got it, circular everybody. Circular motion. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And just keep putting the glue. Oh, this is coming along beautifully. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, and you can use this too. either as a centerpiece and you can put some flowers on it. Oh, yeah. Or you can even just make a whole bunch of these and have placemats for everybody. Oh, yes. Whatever you like. You can well, make, like I said, yeah. we just got this at the Dollar Tree. And um, well, look at this. Yeah. You know, very economical. And, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, there we go. And you can make, like, really, I like, put flowers on it. You, know, yeah. you can use it for different arts and crafts products. Oh, definitely. We're making place a big placemat just like the other one. Oh, oh yeah, you got the glue on it, Mary. There we go. Oh yeah. Now you're getting them to be a pro. We are getting to get to become pros. pros now yeah. look at it. My first time making it. I'm already a pro now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you know well, you can go to see. You can go to some there. of these really nice stores, expensive stores that specialize in making you know have un mm -hmm. unique things. And um, these can, these can actually be expensive. Oh yeah. And I mean, here we're going to make this. We're probably going to use like either three or four of these, and you're going to make this for what? Uh, how much? Mm -hmm. uh, three bucks? I don't know how much. Uh, how much three you four dollars. It oh. depends on how much we're going to be. How much of this quarter we're going to be using? Yeah, but but it's something that you make yourself, that you create yourself, so so it becomes so much more meaningful. Oh, yeah. And especially if you make it with your grandchildren. Well, you know, oh, your children. Well, if you uh, you have a granddaughter like I do, you make it with your oh, older grandchildren. Yeah, but uh, yeah. or, or your children, yeah, yeah. You gotta find the so it's so much stuff. more meaningful when you create it with your with oh, your loved ones, yes. with your little loved ones. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, this, you got to start a oh, new yeah. one here. Start, start yeah. a new one, Mary. We're gonna yeah. do a little bit of extra glue with this one here because we're starting. This is quite a bit of tubing over here. Okay, oh, so yeah, this is so relaxing to make this too. Yeah, sure. Look at this. So we just Ooh. keep going. Tell me why. Oh yeah, I, I got. Oh yeah, I should be telling you. Yeah, right over there. I get sidetracked sometimes. Oh yeah, a little okay. up to here, Mary. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Okay. And you just and I just wind it up. Very simple. Okay, now. And so you have a very oh. unique looking placemat, and mm -hmm. um, people will probably even ask, where did you get this? And you just say, I made it. What you can also do is like decorate it. You can get like little flowers and perhaps glue oh, on here. Oh, yeah, definitely. So make it like to match your tablecloth or your the walls in your dining Some room. flower or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. They have all kinds of it. The uh, Michael Crafts, it can go. They have all beautiful little flowers with pink ones and silk ones and all different ones. Mm -hmm. Cloth ones, cloth flowers. We can make your own cloth flowers too. Oh. You don't have to buy it. Just if you have fabric, you can even just go to the Dollar Tree again and get some. Yeah, I don't know. So flowers, flowers there. Flowers. They have so big. Yeah. Really oh, they, they do. Oh, in yeah. Here. Look at this. How nicely it looks. You see, my two people do this. It's much easier. Yeah. And if you want to make it for Thanksgiving, that you want to do is probably get some pumpkins and all the different kind of. Uh, but squash, even this, summer this would even be on. even cute with the summer, like put some sun, little baby, you know. Oh yeah, with sunflowers. Sun yeah, well you can make it for the spring too, but we're making it for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving. So we yeah. want to put some orange More. on there. Pumpkins, it doesn't take long for that and squash glue. and some. Uh, okay, yeah, let me see. Oh, that should be enough glue there. Now. Oh yeah, I probably think. too much. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to put too much because then there will be too much glue. It's yeah, just like you yeah, have to pick okay. it off. <laughs> oh yeah, pick it off. It's gonna come up. Okay. Uh, when it dries up, it's easy to kind of take it off. Yeah. So Ella, so what do you think you'll be doing for Thanksgiving this year? Well, I. Uh, it's still up in the air. I gotta see what my daughter's doing, and I gotta see what my son's doing. And, yeah. You know, find out if yeah, what well, well, who's working. Sometimes they have to work on Thanksgiving, so yeah, a lot of times too yeah. because of what's yeah. happening with so, uh, the sickness too. A lot of times people aren't getting together, so. Uh, oh but God. I think if things are improving in that yeah. respect, I think. That's the reason why my daughter didn't want me to have a big birthday party, so I just had my two brothers, and I haven't seen one of them in a long time. Oh, but we still had a great yeah. time. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah, but 
I See, am. I'm just picking off some of the extra glue. I feel if a little it were bit not too for, much glue if in If it were not for this crappy virus, and I would have, I would have invited more family members and friends. But oh, uh, yeah, yeah no but way. my daughter said, "Oh no, Keep you're it forgetting slow. that it's forgetting that people getting sick and people are still very sick and get hospitalized." So I said, "Okay, so I'll just have a very small party." Yeah, but it was that, oh yeah, we all had a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah, we'll just finish it up. So here's the finished product. Oh, right. Yes, it is. All we done, and it didn't take very long to do. My mm -hmm. only suggestion, everybody, is um, when you're doing this, it may get stuck to the cooking sheet. We actually had to fry it a little because bit because we we were so busy talking and we got a little sidetracked. No, yeah, we forgot to do it. But if I marry, if I if if I would make it, I would, if yeah. I am making these again, I'm gonna do is like get one third done. Use the spatula. Just make to sure loosen yeah. it up so it doesn't get stuck to loosen the pan. Loosen it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then you know, sometimes when you make cookies and you forget about them and they, oh. they're really stuck to the pan and you're all. <laughs> Well, but, that's what we were doing. Yeah. But that's okay. It all worked out. But, <laughs> yeah, but it, you don't have to do that. Just every one thing you do, you, keep, yeah. you, you use a spatula, pry it up, so, and you do some more three yeah. times. So, then you, so this is, yep. like I said, the finished product. Came out great. Um, you can do this for a placemat. And you can put like a, mm -hmm. a bowl of flowers on there. I think Ella has special plans for her. Yeah. What are you well, do? I'm planning on getting um, a piece of uh, string. Yep. This color, Mary. Yep. And you see there's a little opening here. Yep. And what I'm going to do is thread it and hang it up. Well, before oh. I do that, I'm going to decorate it with flowers. And Ooh. maybe, you know, like pretty, you know, maybe silk flowers. You can sew it on. Or and you can sew it. You can hot glue it. Whatever yeah. work you can do. And you know. if it separates, I'll probably just get a little piece of thread over here and just sew it up. So it's going to work beautifully. But it's an amazing project. It and like I said, these these type of placemats, they are expensive. If you go to some of these better stores, oh, yeah. um, they are expensive. But here we did. We made yeah. this from the Dollar Tree. And it was and fun. It's all handmade. And it's all done. All it's all handmade. handmade. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to the cooking portion of our show. Yes, Thanksgiving. I love the food. But sometimes you have leftovers. And after a while, you just get tired of eating leftovers. And I have this great recipe. It's a great casserole in which you can just use up all your leftovers, freeze it, and when the holidays come, you can bring a nice meal, a nice turkey meal, and everybody's going to think it's great. So here we go. Let's start. We first start off with putting the first layer, which is the stuffing. And now we're going to just press it out. Great. Now the next layer would be our cranberry sauce. So then we put the cranberry sauce in. Yeah, let's use up the whole bowl right now. <laughs> All right. The next layer I like to do is if I have like a vegetable. And right now we're going to do green bean casserole. Everybody loves green bean casserole. So we're going to spread that out. Very good. And then I like to do the next layer, which is my veg mixed vegetables. And we're going to spread that layer out right here. Very good. Next, we're going to do our turkey. So here we go, everybody. The star of the so-called casserole. Just a little bit more here. All right. And then with turkey, you've got to have gravy. So here we go. And spread that out. All right, very good. And then I'm going to put some corn. Then I have some squash that I made or sweet potato, whatever you'd like to put in. Spread that out. And then we top it off with our mashed potatoes. And we're going to just 
just lightly spread that out here. If you think you're going to have like an overspill when you do bake this, you could always put it on a cookie sheet so there's no spills in the oven. Then the next step after we have our potatoes spread out is putting some nice chives. There we go. I like a lot of chives here. So it also makes it a little decorative. So here we go. So now we're ready to put it in the oven. We're going to bake it at 350 and for about a half an hour. I mean, you have to be the judge of, you know, to see if it's warm or how it's done. But as I mentioned, when you overfill, like I just did, I want to let you know is I have a cookie sheet right there. And cameraman was telling me a good idea is to actually make a little tent. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to just fold up the sides here, crimple it at the corner, and just like this. Put up this side, crimple it at the corner. And see, it's just like this, everybody. Hi, everyone. So, I am making chicken gravy today. You will need half a stick of butter. You will need a quarter of a cup of flour, so I'm making roux. So now, I need to add refrigerated chicken base. And I'm gonna start off with one teaspoon right there. So, and now the next ingredient is granulated garlic powders. One teaspoon of granulated onion powder. And so now looks like I got everything here except the water. So I'm going to add some water. I'll probably need one bottle of, uh, which is um, 16 ounces. And so now all you have to do is keep on stirring it. And little by little, you keep on adding water to it and keep on stirring. What I'm going to do is add some, a um, little bit more flour to it. It's going to get lumpy, but eventually, it's, if you keep on stirring, it's going to be fine. So what you want to do is probably use a little bit more flour. I'm just going to add a little pepper to it, tiny little bit, but don't use any salt. That chicken base, refrigerator, you want to use refrigerated chicken base. It's got plenty of it. But I'm going to let it boil a little bit more. Okay, so take care, everyone. And my chicken um, gravy's all set. So I have the um, sliced rotisserie chicken over here. And now I'm going to add the, the carrots and the peas. And you can put whatever your favorite your favorite um, vegetables. And now all I have to do is uh, spread your chicken gravy, your chicken gravy over your uh, ch rotisserie chicken. And that's all you do. I'm gonna preheat the oven to uh, 350 and bake it for about 50 minutes to about an hour or so. I uh, pre-cooked the uh, carrots and the peas. So the carrots are kind of crispy and so are the peas. So once I put it in the oven, it should be nice and soft. And this is it. This is your uh, casserole, chicken casserole. You have your meal. Bon appetit, much nago. Take care. Now this is the finished product. Mm. Of course, this is the turkey casserole I made earlier in Ella. I made chicken casserole and I made the gravy, but uh, I, I made it myself. Of course, we have pumpkin pie. All right, let's go eat, Ella. I'm yes, going to have a gobble, 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 gobble. gobble. Mm. See you in our next segment. Bye-bye. Now, these are the last words of this episode. Ella. Oh yes, Mary looked up a couple of quotes over here. I'll read the first one. Gratitude can transform common days into thanksgivings. 
turn routine jobs into joy and change ordinary opportunities into blessings. And this is by William Arthur Ward. That is the perfect Thanksgiving Day quote. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, this one is another one. Here we go. Thanksgiving. Man, not a good day to be my pants. Kevin James from oh, King of Queens. Oh, he's funny. I like that. <laughs> and that's so true. Yeah. Oh, it gets so tight. <laughs> oh, those pants are not going to be fitting after this Thanksgiving. Yeah, elastic pants. <laughs> oh, I know. And guess what? We have gobble, gobble, gobble here. And here we have this guy oh, holding a baby turkey over here. There we go. Two turkeys we got. And this cute little girly. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next exciting mm -hmm. episode of Mary Ella. Oh, and stay and safe. Stay safe. And that's all, folks. Mm-hmm.